some of the change we are in when it comes to the global market setup. But back home, Jagdish Nilgini uh, joins us now, Managing Director with uh, Shobha Developers to walk us through that how things have transpired for Shobha Developers for the quarter gone by. Jagdish, sales uh, at a record high in the first quarter. What are the expectations for sales growth for FY23? Morning, Nikunj. Uh, sales have been, uh, yes, uh, steady, steadily growing in the past four quarters or so, uh, particularly after the second wave. Uh, currently, we are at a run rate of about uh, 1.3 to 1.35 million square feet uh, per quarter. And uh, if we sustain uh, this volume at the current pricing, then we hope to achieve at least about uh, uh, 10, 10 to 12. also want to understand considering you know uh, the market where you're dominant in Bangalore that is has been seeing very very healthy trains uh, uh, trade uh, you know trends uh, it's really managed to beat markets in Mumbai or for that matter Delhi and NCR as well what's the visibility that you have um, going forward not just for FI23 but maybe for a little longer term time frame as well because you know start of COVID when the realty boom and uptick really began everyone said that you know real estate is coming out of a multi-decadal bear market um, is that a fair assumption the car the past one year uh, in fact past two years and uh, what we see as leading indicators they all point to a very sustainable uh, demand. Uh, Bangalore has been our mothership for quite some time and it will continue to be so. Uh, we hope to uh, capture this uh, demand upcycle uh, with uh, new inventory and launches uh, over, over the several next uh, few years uh, and we are gearing up for that. The uh, demand is, uh, there is, there is a strong demand uh, that we can clearly see uh, uh, fueled by income increases uh, uh, and which which uh, translates to affordability and uh, we this demand in the particularly in the last couple of quarters we have seen with the increased pricing that showcases uh, quite a bit of uh, robustness in the uh, uh, robustness and uh, depth in uh, depth in uh, demand the one thing, uh, Jagdish, I bet all investors and, you know, all the entire real estate market watchers want to know is what's happening to pricing? Demand surely is back, but have has demand reached the level where you can up prices as well? And especially in the Bangalore market or for that matter, Gurgaon as well, where you're now uh, venturing into. Absolutely. If you look at uh, the uh, price increases that we have done in the past uh, one year, uh, if you compare our Q1 uh, uh, FI22 versus Q1, FI23, we are uh, overall price realization is up by about 10.5 percent, and uh, that's where, uh, as I mentioned earlier, the <clears throat> the demand that's uh, both the volume is going up and the pricing is going up, and hence our uh, real, overall realization and values are going up. Now that commodity prices have started coming down, will there also lead to margin expansion? Cement prices are down, steel prices are down. Uh, would you be would you be experiencing uptick in margins because of that? Because the prices have gone up quite a bit in the last uh, one and a half years. Uh, one, there has been an increase and two, there, is an, there has been an increase in volatility of the pricing too. Uh, so given both, it's very tough to estimate whether uh, there's going to be margin expansion or is it going to, we will be able to sustain the existing margins. What we have done is uh, we have factored in both the increased cost and also the increased volatility by adding uh, uh, some more cushion in our uh, uh, estimate of uh, construction cost. So that should help us in uh, navigating this uh, uh, both volatility and the higher increase. One more thing uh, before we let you go, Jagdish. Your net debt, as I understand, is down nearly a thousand crore rupees since the peak. What's the visibility now going forward? Uh, so now it has to be a balance of both uh, uh, allocating capital for growth and also uh, sustained debt, debt deduction. So debt, uh, it's uh, debt is a double-edged sword. Uh, so it's uh, it can make you or break you. So we'll have to. Uh, we are we are uh, treating it very uh, treating it very cautiously. So <clears throat> we have made uh, uh, a lot of efforts to uh, reduce our debt by about 940 crores in the last seven quarters. 
and uh, we will continue to do so but at the same time balance it with uh, growth uh, wherever it's required We'll let you go on that note. Appreciate your time. Thanks much for joining in and giving us a sense of the pricing as well as demand scenario. Time to take Thank a quick you. break right here on the show. Be right back as uh, our charters join in for Chartbusters. And we've also got the management of IEX joining in to talk about the roadmap of pricing.